Good afternoon. A lot of sunshine out there and we need it. Live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Skycam. Again, temperatures responding to that sun after a very cool start. Temperatures in the upper 40s, lower 50s. Again, across the board, we just have a few clouds streaming in. Otherwise, again, we are clear. We are sunny. That sunshine going to stay with us for the next couple of days, really through the weekend. A gorgeous weekend on tap. Gorgeous afternoon looking towards 2 o'clock. Notice we are mainly sunny again. A couple of clouds towards our west. That's it. We may see a stray cloud stream in. Otherwise, sunshine dominates not only for today, but into tomorrow. Great night for high school football tonight. Just bring a jacket or a blanket as it's going to be a little chilly tonight. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s for that. Looking towards 9 o'clock tonight, a few clouds. 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, I should say. A few clouds trying to stream in. Not agreeing there with those uh, sprinkles popping up. I think we see mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Here is the latest on Hurricane Irma. Again, we have 150 mile per hour Category 4 storm getting close now to the northern shores of Cuba. Here, of course, is Florida. And this is the area that we were watching very, very closely for. This sharp turn towards the north going to happen within the next couple of hours to sometime later tonight. And that's why we're watching very, very closely for direct impacts to South Florida. Again, a strong Category 4 hurricane right now expected to take that turn and get closer towards the west coast of Florida now. So that means worse conditions expected now all the way through central Florida. Miami getting into that right front quadrant. 150 mile per hour storm at landfall and then working its way up. Still forecast to be a Category 4 storm in the west coast well and inland. You see Category 1 hurricane just north of Orlando with winds of 75 miles an hour. Note Southwest Virginia out of the cone of uncertainty. The direct impacts to those potential for some spin up tornadoes mainly going to be towards our south and west and the heaviest rain at this point looks to be towards our south and west. I still, still think we'll get some good wind gusts out of the deal 30 40 miles an hour at times as we head into Monday and Tuesday. But otherwise again, I think the heaviest rain staying out looking at the water vapor imagery looks beautiful on satellite. But the prettier they look, the more devastating they are. Just a very sobering sight as we know likely what is going to happen. That's going to take a direct hit into South Florida. The only thing we're hoping for now is to maybe continue this Iowa replacement cycle when it kind of collapses itself for a short time to weaken somewhat. Now we have also Category 4 Hurricane Jose fresh on its heels going to affect the same areas, at least in the Leeward Islands that Irma just hit. Mentioned it was still going to be windy on Monday. Here's the steering flow. Big area of high pressure builds. That's going to help push Irma inland. While the center of circulation is going to stay towards our south and west, the difference in pressure there going to cause those winds to really increase in between the two. So that's something we're going to be tracking. Again, gust 30, 40 miles an hour. Again, the big time gust going to be down towards our south. You see there gusts approaching 90 to 100 miles an hour at times. There are gusts again getting into Tuesday morning, 11 o'clock gusts anywhere from 30, 40 miles an hour, maybe up to 50 or so into the higher elevations. Over the next several days, we're in the low to mid 70s. And there once we get into Monday and Tuesday, starting to watch for some rain sliding in from Irma. Also some wind as well. Much, much weaker Irma, but nonetheless, some impacts coming our way. At least we get a nice weekend. Yes, the weekend looks gorgeous. And prepare for Monday and Tuesday. That's right. Thank you, John. You got it. Well, if you